meeting of the Deerfield Conservation Commission. It is July 23rd, 2016, 7 p.m. Uh, we'd like to introduce ourselves. Uh, ben Burke. Louis Mission. Steve Barrett. Brian Dana. And if we have anybody who would like to be our fifth member, we could use a fifth member. Um, we're going to make a little change in the agenda here because we've got a couple of things we can get through quite quickly sure. and then we'll get to yours. Um, Peter, if you'd like to come on sure. to your, your magic. site visit up. Oh, you did? Yes, we did oh, the site visit. told me you were going. Ah, my apologies. I thought that had been taken care of. But we did do the site visit oh, okay. uh, about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Um, basically, you're going to take, put it, install a new tank is what it looks like. Yeah. Is there a tank there now? No. So this is a definite improvement to the lot yeah. and to the environment. Yes, yeah, absolutely. All right. If the only, I mean, we don't have a problem with it. Uh huh. What I'd like to do, do you show any siltation fence? The reason I didn't show siltation fence is because this vegetation is so thick, it's plateaued. In other words, back it, here. Well, yeah. even here, this embankment is, is heavily yeah. vegetated. Okay, yes. And then it plateaus down, and then. Um, this is that, that sort of ad hoc mm -hmm. driveway here. Mm -hmm. So that's plateaued, and then the vegetation is here. So, I mean, we'd be happy to do it. I just didn't see that it was necessary because there's so much that would, that, you know, they would just be working at this plateau. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't seem likely or feasible that they would bring equipment around and try to work up the hill from down here. So they'd really be working here, and I, I thought that any siltation that would occur would get captured by this vegetation or by this plateau. But if you feel that it's prudent, you know, I don't see it as a... As a what is the pleasure of the board? <coughs> yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I don't see a, any problem there. It's parking lot right now. Yep. It's, it, that, does, that is pretty, that's quite a burn. You know, I, they can just get in there and fix it and get out. Yep, I think whatever you do there is going to be an improvement to the lot. And, and it's an improvement certainly to the environment that you're not, uh, I don't even want to know what's there now at this point. Um, so they'll have to be pumping it out X number of times a year. Right, uh, in fact, um, between the plan I submitted and now, uh, we upgraded to a 3,000 gallon tank, so we pump less frequently. I think on the plan I gave it said 2,000. Yeah. It's actually a 3,000. Um, and it's a tight tank, so there's no discharge. It's just the pumping truck pulls up, ah. pump it out, and, uh, and and that's that's the end of it. Um, it's, What's the dimension of that tank? It's the seven by thirteen by almost eight feet deep. Well. I have no issues with the, I'm going to make the change here to 3,000. And I'm going to put your initials next to it. Fine. So, um, I would propose that we use a negative determination uh, number three, the work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area, su area subject to protection under the Act. Therefore, said work does not require the filing of notice of intent, subject to any following conditions which doesn't seem to be applicable. So I'll make that motion. I'll second. Aye. 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 All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Negative three. That's the I'm going to keep this one at 3000 Sure. All right, okay. good. Thank you for your time. Yep, thank you. I'll probably just give a phone call to, to Priscilla or Kathy um, about when they're going to start. Okay. Just so if anybody yeah, wants you... to drive by and eyeball it while it's being put in, you can do that. Good enough. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.
Okay. Thank you very much. One down. All right. Next on our agenda, we have request for determination filed by DDIC for work being done to clean drainage culverts at the east and west entrance to the industrial park. Am I going to get sworn in? What's that? Am I getting sworn in? Be sworn at. Well, that's that's but that's standard parcel. That's we hear pretty I mean, much used to that. Why don't you throw your? I'll take my shoe off if you throw something. <laughs> so we did the site visit this afternoon or this okay. evening uh, with Kevin. Yeah. And um, if you'd like to expound on our experience, it's just on. you know that hasn't been touched probably. Park was built in the mid to late seventies. I work. It probably hasn't been touched in thirty years, and we're doing so much work on it. We clean. You know, we're trying to get stuff on an annual uh, basis. You know, our strip of land. We're trying to get that head. You know, the brush hog. We uh, did a uh, clean up on Industrial Drive East, and that's where it really. Uh, you know, I went down and I'm looking. And I'm like, wow. You know, these things are clogged, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know, and they were built. You know, were designed with the swales and whatever to handle you know any excess storm water. So I said these really. I mean, you do it at your own house, so why wouldn't you be doing it now? And that's the way they were designed. So um, that's where we just want to make sure that we're not violating anything with the Wetland Protection Act. No, I appreciate that. And I I, and I passed it through our board and also our council and thought it was the best thing to do, uh, just to cover cover everyone's bases. So. I think I filled out stuff to the provide. I, you know, like I say, I provided the pictures, and also, like I say, I provided the. Those are the original um, plans that were done by Corey Rose and yep. Gordon Eadsworth. So that's you know that's showing you exactly right where they are, and obviously you guys went down there. So, and obviously now with when I took these pictures, it was before the summer growth got in there. So now you impacted on that is you got all that vegetation that can clog things even worse. So. Well, we did the site visit. Kevin Scarborough came with us. Um, potentially, if he's doing the work, the town is going to do the work there. Yep. Um, when we did do the site visit, what we did ask Kevin is before work commences, that south of the industrial park, we just run a, a line of hay bales just on the outside chance we get a hay bale siltation fence, silt, yeah. whatever. Okay. Just as as a precaution right. that if we do end up with the you know a significant rain event that we don't end up right with water going down into the resource area that's down 116. Right, and the way you know the way the swales work is that one on the back end right, that goes down the Waitley line that dumps in down yeah pretty much in the valley where the two sewer lines come together. The way if you look at the original plans, um, that's the way it was designed to handle water. So you have the original plans with you. I have, uh, do I have? I'm just curious, there's a catch basin there, and I just. There's a series of catch basins, but those are on, you're talking the swale along the Waitley line, or? No, the catch basin right at the entrance. Right at the, the entrance? I, don't, I, I do have the plan, I don't know if I made, but I've got I'm just curious where that catch basin goes. Um, I don't know if I do, if I print it printed them off. I don't think, they don't show up in what I gave you guys, did they? I gave, um, because you, what you've got there is you've got a, um, a picture of the West Drive and the East Drive, and that's, that's got the utility, the proposed, this, like I say, this was done when they were surveying back in, you know, like 77, 78. So you should see, that's pretty much how it was laid out um, at the time um, and what was proposed in there. I don't have with me, I've got other plans. You know, we've got all that locked up, but um, I don't know if you can see it. Because when they did those drawings, it was a combination of what was existing plus what was proposed to go in there. there are some plans here. 
but good luck on I'm trying to. Okay. We'll say, if I may. No, sure. Right. Please. Um, basically, the plan, uh, you know, very similar to what we spoke about, you know, as far as how we're going to clean it out. Uh, the bolt ends when it comes to the actual catch basin itself, because we're going to be in there jetting anyway. Uh, we don't have a jetter. I'll end up something that bringing somebody in, maybe Mohawk or whoever, and they can go ahead and they can clean out the catch basin for us at the same time. And I can come back to you and let you know exactly where it goes, whether it's a dry well, whether it goes across and, and feeds into the, the westerly side, or the, yeah, the westerly side or the easterly side of the driveway, or it just may go nowhere. It may just be a dry well. When, when do you propose uh, starting the work? I honestly have no idea. Um, okay, well, right now I'm, I'm pretty. The reason concerned. being, no matter what we do tonight, there is a 10 day appeal period. Though. Okay, uh, it, it, definitely nothing in the next 10 days. Okay. <laughs> Really? Yeah, really. Really? <laughs> sure. It shows a catch basin here in a manhole. I don't remember. Mm. These cheaters. No, no, those are real. These are cheaters. Oh, up here. <laughs> shows the catch basin. You here. know, this never happened years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Manhole, see, there's a catch basin there. Right. Oh. So somewhere it is. Maybe that's in the. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice anything out in the. You know, yeah. along the edge of the highway. Well, like you said, it could very well come right over here to the west and drop so it. might have changed, but it looks like it was part of the uh, state drainage, All right. the catch basin side. That's something to check out. But it does show that it could be a van away. Okay. No. Okay. So yeah, we have a series of plans, like what they had, what they're proposing, and then what the final, you know, once they had the... Uh, once I got Noah's Falls tool locked in the build to, uh, to come down there. So um, what I want to give you though is sort of a sense of where it was located. And uh, mm -hmm. so. Well, after doing the, the visit, I would be more inclined to go with a negative number one. The area described in the request is not an area subject to protection under the act or okay. the buffer zone. Second that. Nice. Sounds good. <coughs> All right. Do you need or do you follow up with Kevin or have Kevin follow up with you guys or do you need me to come back after the work uh, on no. this report? You'll get a copy of this certified mail or else if you come in and pick it up. Um, or if you want to stop. We don't want to do anything for 10 days. Yeah. You got, you, I got our mailbox in there too, so if you want to drop it in there, let me know. Well, I won't be doing it. But I, I know you won't. I don't, I don't drop mail. No, I don't. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Okay. So we're... We're good to go. Okay. We're good to go. Yep. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to do this, Paul. Well, like I say, we're trying to get this park back online. Like you see, there's a there's going to be a new sign down on the West Drive coming online. So, with all the activity going on and the and the tool company building coming back online. So supposedly it's gonna be operational, I guess by way Mark Malone said, by the end of November, beginning of January, that the people will be in there. And uh, and he already has inventory in there and, and the like, but truly moving everything out of the old Deerfield plastics over there should be, uh, his battle plan was to have that done by now, but what he's waiting for now is the um, site plan from Kuhn and Riddle to do all the outside landscaping work. Um, re sort of reformatting that elevated dry, uh, parking lot and changing the facade and, um, <coughs> and the like. So it's gonna, look, it's gonna look better than it. I was gonna say, get back on the tax rolls and... Yeah, let's hope. Well, thanks again, Paul. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Yep. All right, next on line is our Notice of Intent filed at 84 Greenfield Road for Verizon Wireless proposed installation of an 85-foot monopole tower and the associated ground equipment. You could just identify yourself for the record and off we go. Sure. Uh, good evening, Chairman Commission members. My name is Dean Gustafson. I'm a senior wetland scientist with All Points Technology. 
here tonight on behalf of Selco Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless. Before my brief presentation, I'll just introduce a few folks that are here with me tonight. Um, on behalf of the Fire District, Kevin Scarborough is in the back of the room from the director of DPW. In the first row, your left side is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Jameson with Verizon Wireless, and to the right is uh, Carl Gehring of Legal Counsel. We're Welcome here tonight on. on behalf of uh, Verizon Wireless for uh, replacement of existing 65 foot tower facility at uh, the South Deerfield Fire District Station at 84 Greenfield Road. Uh, the tower will essentially be replaced in kind. Uh, existing uh, tower location will be the low site for the new tower. Uh, new foundation will be drilled uh, in the same general location. And uh, so the last tower will be replaced with a monopole tower with uh, a concrete um, pier foundation. Resources located on the subject property are just to the south of the proposed project area, consists of a uh, constructed wet detention basin um, that is regulated as a boarding vegetated wetland area. And on this board, it's this area highlighted in green. And then the associated 100 foot buffer zone, highlighted in orange on this board, encompasses the entire project area uh, and uh, a good portion of the southern end of the fire station. There's an existing equipment shelter um, that's located adjacent to the existing tower that will house Verizon's equipment. And then uh, a new diesel-fired emergency backup generator will be installed in the northeast corner of the rear parking lot of the fire district. Rosium sanitation controls will be installed along the southern edge of the work limit to uh, separate the proposed work zone from the nearby resource area uh, to provide appropriate protection of uh, any sediment and erosion controls um, that may result during the proposed work. In addition, there will be a wetland protection plan that will be enforced during construction. Uh, that will include uh, contractor awareness training, inspection of the erosion sanitation controls, and then periodic monitoring during construction. All of that is included in our notice of intent. It, yeah, exactly. Everything is included within that packet. And just as a, on the record that we did do a site visit with Dean this, after, this evening before we, this meeting. So we have done a visit to the site and have a pretty good handle on exactly what they're proposing. So we've, with those protection measures, um, we feel that the proposed project will not result in an adverse effect to resources protected on the Wetlands Protection Act and we kindly request the commission issue an order conditions for the work. And it will be open to any questions. That's a fairly straightforward project. Um, so everything that you've shown us and everything in the notice of intent, we do have the file number issued by the Commonwealth. Um, and the co their comment was no comment, <laughs> <laughs> which is always a good thing. It makes life a little bit simpler. So I would propose that we accept the, the original notice of intent filed by the Selco partnership uh, in the note that uh, was received June 8th, 2016. That would be my motion. A second. Aye. 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 So we are good to go. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you for coming in. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome.
Yeah, if you don't mind. It's just it's uh, pretty you much our standard course of action with any of our construction projects for Verizon. So. Yep, just let Priscilla know at Town Hall and she'll get in touch with us and we can make sure that one of us is able to give a quick look at it. Okay, perfect. And you obviously have your, your appeal period that you don't want to do anything during. Yep. No, we still have to go before the planning board, so we still have a little bit of oh, time. Oh, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> before we have all our permits in place. So. All right, appreciate all, all your right. time. Thank good you. night. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what we have for mail. Membership dues, again. The motion that we approve and request that the $270 dues for July 1st, 2016 to June 30th, 2017, that we have those approved and sent off to I'll give these to Priscilla tomorrow. Second. Aye. 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 That is the extent of our mail. Uh, we have minutes for our meeting of May 26th to review. Business. We did do a site visit up at uh, the corner of Broughton Pond Road and Old Main Street in Old Deerfield. <coughs> we done by Eversource uh, due to a power failure at the wastewater treatment sewer plant. And they installed all of the, we gave them an emergency certification and they installed all the erosion control as requested. Uh, they'll, be in, they'll be submitting a notice of intent in the future within the next 30 days or so. That's the agreement. Um, the last thing we have just that will be coming online for our next meeting is a request for determination filed uh, by Mark Whiteman for some work that will be potentially done down Sugarloaf Street. Um, they has, he has submitted a request for determination of applicability, so that will be on our next meeting, which I'm going to ask Ben to check his. It would be the 28th. The 28th. So we'll make our 7, 16. If there is no other business in front of us, then I would make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second. 7.25 p.m. Aye. 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 Aye.